Hello, my name is Mark Anderson. I'm the director of the Department of Internal Medicine at Johns Hopkins. And I'm very grateful for you taking time to um, hear about some of the wonderful things that are happening from our leadership in education uh, to our frontline clinicians in the intensive care units and on the biocontainment units to our researchers who are working hard to make sure that COVID-19 uh, has a solution and it's as soon as possible. I think you'll be impressed as am I and, and proud of what our department has been able to contribute and the promise of what we'll contribute in the future. The Johns Hopkins BCU is one of the first units to take care of patients here at Johns Hopkins with COVID-19. Now we've been part of a larger effort that over the last five years has been preparing the hospital to provide care for patients infected with high consequence pathogens such as Ebola, MERS, SARS, and now SARS-CoV-2. Our team of providers and staff have been working 24-7 to make sure we take the best possible care of our patients with COVID-19. We are making sure that we are on top of the latest therapeutic options and are leading research efforts to make sure we are providing the best evidence-based therapies for our patients. Cardiology is playing an important role in the Hopkins response to COVID. We're taking care of each other so all of us together can better take care of our patients who so urgently need our help. It's been um, fantastic to watch um, our basic sciences combine with our clinicians to try to learn more uh, about what to do and to take all of the possible data and all the possible measurements that we could make to try to inform that, that care. Our dean likes to call that a precision medicine center of excellence. COVID-19 has profoundly affected the residency of uh, the medicine program. Every aspect of the training program has, has changed. They are, those are residency, the largest single group of people caring for COVID-19 patients across our entire health system. Um, I've been doing telemedicine visits for our internal medicine clinic, answering a lot of patient phone calls as they call about their regular health problems and obviously a lot of patients are worried about COVID and so answering all their questions and sending them for testing if we think it's appropriate. I have never been more proud of those who are residents. They are role models for us all. I recognize that COVID-19 is more than just a health crisis. It's affecting every aspect of our lives from the way we interact with one another uh, to our work uh, and to our fortunes. And so this is a, a challenging time, including economically. Yet, we've heard from many of our friends and supporters like you um, who have asked if they can help at this uh, very important moment. We are so appreciative of all of your efforts to support uh, the care of patients and the research that goes into doing this better, uh, and we can't tell you how much we appreciate that support. It uh, means more to me than anyone will ever know uh, how uh, important it is to uh, be believed in and to be trusted and to um, to know that people you know, value your ideas and um, you know want to back that up with with funding and support. Yeah, Hopkins is right at the center of, of COVID-19 research. There's been so much done. We are so grateful for your generous support. Thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much for all of your support. Together, we will weather this storm. Thank you so much. Stay safe. Be well.